you gotta go home. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go Got that ass to the floor. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't gotta do with none of these niggas no more. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into today's video, I'm coming at you guys with another partnership with Dossier Perfumes. Once again, Dossier has partnered with me to show you guys some of their iconic scents with the designer quality at no markups. That is the Dossier brand and they could not be more true to it. Another important thing to note is that Dossier is a cruelty-free company. They do not practice any animal testing whatsoever and that is a great value to have in a company. It's something that I really appreciate Dossier for. Um, it's something that not a lot of companies do and it's so important and I hope that we can see more companies moving towards that in the future. Dossier just has such great values and they are all around such an amazing company and it also helps that they offer such great great products. I could buy new perfume every day, all day. And with Dossier, they make it so much more attainable. They offer high quality product at such a low price. They offer perfumes that are inspired by some of your favorite designers, such as YSL, Chanel, pretty much anything you can think of, Dossier has it. And they're always adding more scents as well. Not only do they have amazing prices, but their products are also very functional as well. I am absolutely in love with the magnetic top that they have that kind of snaps right on when you're placing it. That is just amazing and it's really a cool feature and it's also very functional as well. You guys, I could talk about Dossier all day long, but it's up to you to go and check it out for yourself. Go ahead and go to the links in the description box below and do a little browsing. I'm sure you'll find something you like. And if you're stuck on where to go, definitely go to the quiz. It's a six question long quiz. It will kind of help match you with some scents that are right up your alley. And then when you get your scents, you also have a risk-free trial. They'll give you a mini trial size that you can try before we're opening your bottle and when you try that out if you don't like it you can send your perfume back at no penalty to you so basically satisfaction is guaranteed you just really can't beat all these great qualities that dossier has going into our first scent of the day we have florian to coconut the top notes which are labeled right on the bottle so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into are cardamom pistachio bergamot the middle notes are ylang lang, tuberose, and jasmine. And the base notes are listed as well. This baby here is the dupe for Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Oude Parfum. And that just means it's inspired by it. So they look at Soleil de Blanc, they look at the notes, they look at the concentration and all those things, and they try to give you as close of a mirror as they possibly can while still giving you a great price. I have had my eye on Tom Ford Soleil Blanc or any Tom Ford fragrance for quite some time. But y'all, I don't want to spend over $300. Like, can you blame me? I'm sorry. So Dossier offers a great solution to that problem. And once again, I am not disappointed by the scent that I chose. Moving on, we have what they call Fruity Oak Moss. And this is inspired by Creed Aventus for her. Now y'all, if you know anything about Creed, you know that that's some money. Creed is so expensive. I have not had the privilege of getting my hands on a Creed perfume, but with Dossier, I don't feel the need to because I pretty much have it right here. Aventus for her is a very popular scent and I had never even smelled it. I never really had an idea of what it smelled like, but after trying Dossier, I fell in love with this scent and I'm so happy to add it to my collection. This is a very citrus scent. I could almost see how someone could compare this to Dolce & Gabbana light blue, but it's 10 times better. Hey guys, welcome to this vlog. It's Diamond here. Either welcome or welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm coming to y'all from an awkward position. I'm sitting beside my bed and my bed is not made, sorry. And I just got off work. So I haven't vlogged in a minute. I think the last time I vlogged was when I came back from St. Louis. Since then, um, I had a week off where I didn't do anything. Then I, the next weekend I had to work. And then, so this week I'm coming back and vlogging. I'm not starting to vlog on Thursdays like I usually do because that's not my schedule anymore. That's not really my weekend anymore. Today is Friday and it's nine o'clock. Um, like I said, I just got off work and I actually got off work early. I got off work about 30 minutes early. Okay guys, I'm back. My mom called me and I was talking to her for a while. So, but 
I just was telling you guys, like I've just been so busy. I am in clinicals 40 hours a week. I work about 20 hours a week. I'm still trying to do other stuff. Still been trying to stay in the gym. Um, I've still been trying to, you know, do YouTube, still been trying to do it. So it's just been a lot going on and I've been overwhelmed a little bit. Um, not overwhelmed to the point where I just feel really frazzled all the time. But when I say overwhelmed, I mean like I've been kind of hard on myself because like when things don't get done that I want to get done, I, have you know, get kind of hard on myself. And I've just been feeling like there's just not enough time in the day to complete all the things that I want to do in the day. Like, and then when I do have like time, like, I don't know. I've just not been getting enough rest. And then when I do allow myself to rest a little bit more, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have did that. I should have been doing this. I should have been doing that. There's other things I could have been doing. So I've just been kind of really struggling with the balance of doing things that need slash I want to get done and still taking care of myself and not running myself ragged. So I've really been struggling with that right now. And so that's kind of what's going on this weekend. I am off and this will be my first two off days in 13 days. This will be the first day I don't have anything to do. Well, I still have stuff to do, but this will be the first day I won't have like work stuff or clinical school stuff to do. First time in 13 days, which maybe that doesn't sound like a lot to some people, but I don't know. That's a lot like that's a lot most people get an off day where they don't you know have to do anything usually every five days so to go 13 days without having that you know it's a lot and I do know because I am in school full time and I am working you know and then I have full YouTube which can be another part-time slash full-time job I just I feel like I'm spreading myself thin but I'm going to keep going because these are all things that I care about and these are all things that I want to get done and need to get done. And so I just need to figure out how to take care of myself in the meantime while I'm doing all of these things. And I have not found that balance yet. I'm being completely transparent with you guys. I haven't found that balance like even things like I feel so bad because Bentley's been at home by himself pretty much every day, all day. And I hate that. I hate that. I haven't been able to take him on long walks like I usually do. Um, even, you know, lately we've just been, I'll take him on walk around the complex, like, which takes like less than maybe like five, seven minutes. That's all it takes. Like, and I just feel bad about that. And then like, if I don't work out a certain day, I feel bad about that. If I don't, my room is a mess right now. My room is atrocious right now. Well, it's my idea of what atrocious looks like. It's probably not that bad to some people, but, and it's because like, when I get home or I'm so burnt out, I don't really feel like cleaning it. Or then when I start to clean it, other things pop up and so, Tomorrow is my first off day and I just want to get some things done. But at the same time, I want to make sure I relax and take care of myself. So I'm really going to try my best to, you know, start these next week and with striking a balance between the two. And hopefully everything, I make it out alive. Hopefully I make it through this season alive because I do know that this is only for a season. This is not how the rest of my life is going to be. But right now I'm in grind mode. Right now I have goals to do. I have degrees to get. Tomorrow I have to take Bentley to get a haircut. Y'all, Bentley is so mad at Okay guys, so Bentley is a Shih Tzu. So he has long hair and which needs to be brushed daily is the ideal brushing period bentley hates getting brushed and i've also been very busy so when i do try to brush him he runs and he just hates being brushed so he is mad at like very badly and it's kind of like that kind of all over it's mostly like that on his hind legs is where it's the worst and then he has a little bit on his front legs his body and his head and things aren't matted at all really but um it's really his legs that are really bad and so tomorrow he gets his hair cut and I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, I'm just kind of like, I can, like, I don't have it in me to care too much about it. Like, but I'm a little nervous about how he is going to, um, 
Oh, his haircut is going to turn off because I'm sure they're going to just have to cut a lot off. And I don't want them to have to cut. Like, I'm not going to be upset if they do because, like, it's me. It's nobody's fault but me and Bentley's why his hair looks like that. So, if they have to start over, like, if they have to just kind of give him a bald look, like, I'm going to be, like, I uh, I'm a little worried about it, but at the same time, I'm like, it is what it is. I'm not going to stress myself out about Bentley's haircut. Good morning, guys. So it's Saturday morning and it's bright and early. It's nine o'clock and I am, I have dropped Bentley off. I got up, put on a little outfit um, and I dropped Bentley off to get his haircut. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I also at the same time feel a little good about it. I don't know, but um I just came to the nail shop, um, the place I like to go to find out. I knew before I got here. So when I was on the way here, I was driving. Like when I got halfway here, I was like, dang, are they going to be open? Because in St. Louis, I'm used to nail shops opening at 8.30, 9 a.m. Like that's just a normal thing. But here it seems like they're na the nail shops open late, like 10. Like some places open on 11 at, at 11 on weekends, which I think is crazy. But one place when I was on the way here, I just looked, I was like, uh, I Googled it and it said 10, they opened at 10. And then one of the things, then I looked somewhere else and it said 9.30. And it's like I said, it's nine o'clock, it's like 9.03. So I was like, um, well, if I get there and it's 9.30, then I can wait if I get there and it's 10. Cause at this point I'm already halfway and it ain't no sense of turning around. So I got here and sure enough, it was 10 o'clock that they opened. So. I am just going to go to AutoZone. I have to get some stuff done at AutoZone because literally my check engine light has been going on and off for the last two, maybe three weeks. I remember telling y'all about this in my last vlog, but the problem is persisting. It will like turn on for a couple days, turn off for a few days. And then like this last time it was off for uh i want to say maybe it's been off for a week maybe it's been off for a whole week if not a week at least five days it's been off and it just came on like literally when i got out to check the nail shop um the time at the nail shop it came right on so i don't know so i'm gonna go to autozone because my mom said that they can read the codes and tell you what's wrong so that'll be good for me because it, i can get that done for free and then go to the shop and tell them exactly what i want done instead of them having to charge me for the diagnostic of it and then yeah so I'm going to do that. Me personally, I prefer AutoZone over O'Reilly. I don't know. The people who be working at O'Reilly just are not up to par with the people who work at AutoZone. And that's something that I've noticed kind of across the board. I don't know if they got different hiring standards, probably. But every O'Reilly I've been into, it ain't been that many. But Or even that I know of, like, the people who work there don't be as helpful or as seem knowledgeable as the people who work at AutoZone. People who work at AutoZone are always very nice and helpful. Like, especially the one by my house. I'm closer to one. Um, I'm a little bit closer to a different one. But I'm going to the one by my house. Because the one by my house, even if they're not supposed to put the Freon in my car, I'm th I'm pretty sure they will. They be doing all type of stuff for me that they probably not even supposed to do. But even be little stuff. Like, I bought some floor mats. And the man was like, oh, let me come out and put those in your car for you. And I'm like... <sighs> <laughs> thank you but i think i could put these car mats in but he came out and he put the car mats on the floor and everything like even little stuff like that so i'm pretty sure they will put the free on in for me at first i was gonna throw on like some leggings or something but i was like no let me put on a little outfit i'll maybe show y'all an outfit of the day later if i remember and yeah i'm gonna get on with my day and hopefully i'll try to bring you guys along i do need to stop at marshall's um to take something back y'all know how that go I might come out with some stuff but I know for a fact Marshall's doesn't open up till 11 which I think is so ghetto but whatever <laughs> tell me what you say now tell me what you say come again if you cannot stay down then you do not have to pretend like there is no way out should I never let you in Cause you got me face down And don't take the first Hey vlog, so I'm coming to y'all a little irritated Not a little, I'm mad right now So first of all Um 
let me just roll it all back so i have been running around all around town because well not really ro running around town but i've been calling around town they called about bentley and the lady said he's really mad at and she just well, she just gonna have to start over which i'm not mad about you know i'm not mad about them because i mean like i said i kind of expected that I'm just nervous about how he's going to look. I mean, it is what it is, but I'm just nervous about how to see it. But she did call me. She was like, you know, I didn't want you to be taken aback when you seen him or uh, when you get them or whatever. And, you know, so she called me, appreciated that. And there's nothing I can do about that and whatever. So next problem. So y'all saw me in the nail shop, right? Y'all saw me in the nail shop getting my pedicure it was a very subpar very mediocre pedicure some girls in my class told me about and they had been going there for years and they really liked it and then i've gone a couple times the first time i went my nails were okay second time i went um this lady did my nails and she did a really good job like she did them like i would give her a 98 out of 100 on how she did my nails she did a, a good job they were pretty much exactly how i wanted it so today i go in i get my pedicure i one thing i hate about their pedicures they don't do nothing it's basically your foot in the water and they may put and they'll put some lotion on your foot like that's pretty much it they don't massage they don't do no scrub like i'm paying 40 dollars for that like that's not a pedicure you just put my feet in water i could have put my feet in the water myself but my toes look good whatever so then it's time to get my nails done i had to wait first of all i got there oh yeah i missed that part so y'all know how i got there early and then i was like oh i'm too early so i went and did some errands came back they opened at 10 i got there at 10 15 and they were packed so i had to wait to get my pedicure which i'm a very patient person so i don't mind waiting like i'm that doesn't bother me i'm i'm patient especially like what am i supposed to do have an attitude because they're busy like because they're making money i'm supposed to have an attitude about that i just don't understand people like that but i'm so i'm a very patient person so the waiting did not bother me so i had to wait a minute to get my pedicure got my pedicure for a subpar pedicure once again i'm gonna say it and then my pedicure is done i have to wait to get my nails started when it's time for me to get my nails started i go to the woman who did my nails the last time so i'm like okay good y'all because y'all already know the reason i've been doing my nails is because i i just hate having to be unsatisfied with the way my nails turn out so that's the whole reason i've been doing my nails again because at least if they don't come out how i want it ain't nobody to blame but myself and so today um but when i saw that it was someone who had done my nails before and done a good job doing exactly how i wanted it I, my my um worries were eased and so I go to her, um, well she, I sit in her chair, she starts my nails, and I'm already kind of telling that, like, this ain't, this ain't right. Like, so I asked for a short coffin nail, and I want, I'm very adamant about my, my, the top being very square and my edges being very square. I don't like round edges on my nails. I'm very adamant about that. And so I tell her that. Now she comes with rounded edges i said i want my ridges i want my edges square then i look at my nails closer and it's like okay so they acted like they couldn't understand what i was saying but i'm gonna show y'all and i know i ain't crazy so i know y'all gonna see it too y'all ain't crazy either so if you look at my nail if you look at my nail do y'all see how one side of my nail is pretty much straight and the other side of the nail kind of cave it, it slants in do y'all see that i'm not stupid i'm not crazy am i and it's like that on all the nails and then do y'all see these round edge nails like i and i clearly asked for square nails do y'all see how it's hard to show y'all properly but do y'all see how one side of the nail looks completely different from the other side? Like one side of the nail looked like she was finna give me coffin. The other side of the nail looked like she was finna give me just a straight square nail. And it's like that on all of them. It's like that on every nail. It looks like my nails are like the leaning tower of pizza. That's what it looks like. I hope y'all seeing this. Like literally one side it's so hard to explain especially because i can't point to it and i'm probably not using the correct terms 
but one side is slanted and the other side is pretty much straight like it looks different and so i said something to the lady who was doing my nails and she was like she like didn't even acknowledge that i was speaking she was like just start moving her um filer at me like moving it at me like that and then she starts filing again and then she shows me again and she's like better and i'm like no no and so next to her um across the across the aisle from her is the um owner of the shop and so the owner says um sit in the other chair and i'll fix it for you i can't move to the other chair because the lady is still sitting here steady hacking away at my nails with the filer trying to do something different and she shows me even though the lady has already said i'm gonna fix it for you this the lady who was originally doing my nails is still sitting there trying to file away trying to redeem herself i guess and she's doing a terrible job and she shows me again better no I'll just, I said, I know, I'll just let her get, I'll just let her do it. Now the lady, the owner, I know she does good nails and I'm, I know like, cause part of it, I feel like well, may have been a slight language barrier, but at the same time, if I tell you I won't co square coffin, I don't understand what's so like, you know, you knew what that, you know what that mean. You know what square coffin, short square coffin means. So I, um, I get this, uh, I sit in the next chair. The lady, the owner lady is doing someone else's nails. She's finishing up. Once again, I have no problem waiting. It takes her about 30 minutes to finish up the lady's nails. So when she finishes the lady's nails, she comes over and sits in front of me and she looks at my nails and she's like, so what's wrong with them? And so I explain to her, she looks at the nails and she she realizes that she has to start over and so she says to me you're gonna have to come back another day i have appointments coming in i don't have time to start over excuse me so you mean tell me i came in here at this point it's, it was two hours ago i came in here came in here two hours ago sat down like any other customer and gave clear requests on how I wanted my nails and they were done wrong and you mean tell me you telling me you don't have time to fix them excuse me like and then to tell me you're gonna have to come back another day I said I will never be back in here I will never step foot in here again like excuse you excuse you then not to mention on top of all of that before the lady came over to try to fix my nails and my thing is you knew you knew you had appointments coming in this whole time why tell me to go sit and wait for another 30 minutes for you when you knew you was busy like you knew you knew these appointments or whatever you say you so busy blah blah, blah. you knew that before you told me to sit in that chair and wait for you for 30 minutes so i sat here and waited for nothing so long story short i walked out of there with my nails looking like this like th like this looks stupid i walked out of here she didn't even take she didn't even have the decency to take the nails off of me she let me walk out like this so what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to take them off Y'all, I'm just so heated. Then on top of that, before she came over to fix my nails, her her husband was like going back and forth and arguing in their language. And then the man, he said, clear as day. At first I thought I was tripping, but I was like, nah, I ain't crazy. He said, clear as day, he yelled, F you. But he said the act, I don't curse. Uh, that just ain't me. But he just screamed at her. He turned and looked at her, screamed, F you. We in the middle of the, I will never be back to that place. Never, ever, ever, never. But now I'm just like, like this was my whole point of going there was so I could relax, you know, I could save myself some time, you know, cause I told y'all it takes me a long time to do my own nails so I could save myself some time. I wasted time. I wasted money. I am the opposite of relaxed. My toes look okay, but I like to have matching hands and feet and I don't have the color that I have at home. For my this color that I have on my feet I don't have that color at home so I'm either going to have to go out and try to find a color that looks very similar or I'm going to have to start over on my feet as well and it's just like and then I spent $48 on this pedicure on this pedicure $48 because she still made me pay for the pedicure honestly I almost told her I'm not paying for that anything I'm and I just uh y'all I'm just so frustrated my spirit ain't right right now i think i need to go read my bible honestly that's how i'm feeling okay guys it's like six o'clock now and i'm just the day has been a mess i'm about to eat and take a nap i got some food from this place called la taqueria don poncho i got two steak tacos 
in a chicken quesadilla. Their food is so good and I'm so excited to eat it and just kind of relax. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I am just in bed. Um, I woke up and I did a little bit of homework. Um, what else did I do? Looked at my YouTube and all of that type of stuff. And I'm about to try to edit a little bit of a video. Last night after I talked to y'all, um, I ate my food, took a nap. And then I got up and it was like so late. It was like eight o'clock and then I sat on my phone. I was on the phone with my mom for a long time. And then long story short, I looked up and it was like 10, 11 o'clock and I hadn't even started on any of the things I said I was gonna start with, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna really try to get everything done today, which I hate though, because then it turns into me not relaxing on my Sunday like I wanted, but I don't know. I really want to go into this next week strong and getting stuff done. And I know that's going to start with a clean home. I think that's going to make a world of the difference. I went into Walmart yesterday and I tried to find the color to match my toes. Cause y'all know I told y'all if I didn't find that color, I was going to have to redo my nails. I was going to have to redo my toes as well. And I could not find that color. So looks like I'm going to have to redo my toes and my hands, which is so annoying. Um, yeah, these just are some sad nails. I'm just so upset because my whole point of going in there was to relax, like, and to save myself time. But I'm not even gonna talk about that. Like I said, I'm going into this next week with so much positivity. I just, I've got to do things differently like these last two weeks have been a little hard on myself like don't get me wrong I got through it and by no means were they terrible I haven't done my hair so that's why I got little fuzzies hanging out but by no means were these weeks terrible or you know but they just haven't gone as smoothly as I would like them to they haven't been as productive as I would like them to and I haven't been um as much of myself as I would like to be so I gotta change that for me and I'm sorry if this vlog has been boring. I feel like I haven't done anything really, but complain maybe. <laughs> sorry if that's the case. Um, I do want to show y'all Bentley, um, his haircut, but I think I'm going to show y'all later because he's napping right now. But he is bald head, little bald head, small head. But, and then I'll probably show y'all if I remember, we went to the treat store and we got him some more treats and they had some super cute ones as always. And then I also signed up to be a member of their, um, I signed up for their rewards program too, which I didn't know they had. So that's cool. So you guys, here is Crazy Bentley and they gave him a little cheetah print, um, little handkerchief. And so you guys can see his face. He's been acting crazy right now, so I'm having a hard time, but, okay. His face is fluffy. <laughs> this is fluffy, but his body is pretty short and his tail is still fluffy too. And he's acting crazy. I don't know what's wrong with him. I think he might be cold because he don't have no hair no more because he, he keeps shaking his body. So I think he's cold. But then when I try to put him under the cover, he doesn't want to be under the cover. And he's just being really clingy and trying to like be in my skin. And I think it's because he wants my body warm. <laughs> the poor baby is cold. But I think he looks handsome. Despite him being naked. I think he looks very, very handsome. Don't you think, Ben? Okay, y'all, I know this is looking real busted, but this is how my nails look after I attempted to take all the acrylic off so I can redo them. Um, because it is so fresh and there's no new growth or anything, it's really hard to get the acrylic that's at the base of the nail. So this is kind of what i'm working with right now i hope i can still make it work and finesse it to where my nails look at least halfway decent after i'm done i'm just so annoyed like the least she could have done was taking the nails off 
right now i have a little bit anxiety about how the week is going to go um <clears throat> i just sat down and kind of mapped out my schedule for the upcoming week and i'm a little bit nervous about it because in order to do what it is i want to do i'm gonna have to have some very early mornings and i just don't know i don't know i'm very anxious about it all thursday what i'm really excited about is i am going to be meeting for the first time with my therapist um i've done therapy before but the person i went to wasn't for me and so i have found a new therapist and i'm going to be having my first appointment with her on thursday so i'm super excited about that like i cannot wait and i really think her and I are going to be a good match and I think it's going to be very beneficial for me. I'm praying for that. I'm just really hoping that that is beneficial to me and I'm, I know it will be. I'm just, I really have a good feeling about it. Like I said, I have a good feeling about our vibe and everything. I'm just about to get to it. I'm about to do my nails and then I'm going to clean up. Okay, so y'all know all that positivity just went right out the window. Um, and at this point, I'm ready to throw in this towel. So I sat down to do my nails, only to find that I don't have any brush for the acrylic. Why you ask? Because I left it in the acetone to disinfect and to get all the extra acrylic off. And the brush literally disintegrated. You can see the head of the brush, um, I guess there's two, I two disintegrated. You can see the head of the brushes, like with the actual brush on it, but the handle of the brush disintegrated inside of the acetone. In case you're wondering, it was like something similar, the actual handle was something similar to this. Um, and I was not aware that that could disintegrate inside of theirs. So now I have no way to do my nails. Okay guys, it's like much later. <clears throat> And I am just doing my nails. So I did my toes and they don't look the best. They don't, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've did a little sloppy. It just, y'all, my day has been getting substantially worse as time goes by. So I'm doing my nails, right? Doing my toes, blah, blah, blah. I'm using my acrylic powder. Had the acrylic powder open. Somehow, some way, I don't even remember bumping it. I don't even know how it fell but it fell, wasted. <sighs> Y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. So I just wasted some more. I was trying to show y'all that I wasted like 90% of the bottle on the ground. And I wasn't even sure if I'm gonna have enough to finish my nail, to do my nails, because all I did was my toes. I only have not that much. Let me try to show y'all again. We're not doing that. I don't have that much to um, do my nails, but the good thing is I do still have some of this um, Kiss acrylic powder that I got in like a kit from Walmart, what, what I don't know how long ago. So if I do run out of this, I do have something else. Y'all can see, it's only this much left in here. This bottle, this was full when I started. I only had used a little bit and it wasted all on the floor and I guess on my desk too now. And I'm also just gonna go ahead and end the vlog because like I said, it's getting late. I really can't fake the funk. I'm I'm sick of this, uh-uh. And y'all know I'm not usually like that. It probably wasn't the funnest vlog there was, but um, like I said, it is what it is. Like, I can't fake it. So yeah, um, once again, leave in the comment section below. First of all, if you made it to the end of this video, I know you're really rocking with me because this wasn't even fun like that. So if you made it to the end of this video, leave some diamond emojis in the comment section below to let me know you're a real one. And then also leave in the comment section below, just leave some kind words for me guys. Please leave some kind words for me because I probably need to hear them. Because like I said, I'm going through this transitional stage and some tra some encouraging words would not hurt. So leave in the comment section below some encouraging words for me. And I just know in advance, I'm going to say thank you when you see them, but just know in advance 
thank you i appreciate it but yeah once again thank you for watching this video don't forget to like leave those comments i asked for and also subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video and also the next vlog whenever that is and y'all we gonna get through this together i really really love you guys and i'll see you next time i know i gotta keep my on